The main goals of our protein tag is written in our mission statement. It is to develop antibodies against every single human protein ever encoded in human genome. Therefore, to provide essential tools for scientists to study health and disease. Therefore, improve human health. Protein tech is part of the science. We never left science. I was a researcher and a scientist for many years. It's a way to give back to science community. What is a better way to give back to the scientific community? Is to help the young scientists grow. And the travel grant to neuroscience meeting is one of the best way to bring new talent into neuroscience field. Uh, I'm Marquita Landry. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at the University of California, Berkeley. So I'm currently working on functionalizing optically active uh, nanomaterials and nanoparticles to be responsive to specific molecules uh, with the eventual goal of detecting these molecules in living systems. So anything uh, ranging from a small reactive nitric oxide uh, molecule all the way through complex and, and much larger um, protein molecules, for example. And so I use single wall carbon nanotubes, which emit the near infrared, and I'll functionalize those nanoparticles to be responsive very specifically and selectively to uh, the target molecules uh, so that they emit in an optical window where uh, tissues, cells, and blood uh, are maximally transparent. So the analysis tools that we use for the characterization of these uh, infrared sensors is infrared microscopy. Uh, so we have a fairly uh, generic microscopy setup that uh, will excite these probes at, on resonance, so usually in visible wavelengths uh, with visible lasers. Uh, and we have in-gas arrays that detect the emission of these nanoparticles. Uh, so we have to do calibrations, concentration-based calibrations and selectivity assays to make sure that these probes are selective for their targets in a concentration range that's of biological <laughs> relevance. Uh, so that's the work that we do to characterize the probes and the techniques that we use to, to do the characterization. Uh, for proteins, we're trying to develop probes that will be responsive to target proteins. So we'll conjugate different um, molecular recognition moieties onto uh, the surface of these infrared uh, emitters, and in the presence of a specific protein, they'll light up in the infrared. Uh, and we're also taking different approaches to screen, so to create molecular recognition elements. So instead of using a known antibody, uh, we will screen for uh, a surface moiety that when it's conjugated onto the surface of a carbon nanotube, it'll recognize a protein. And we're hoping that that will provide some ways of detecting proteins that perhaps have unstable antibodies or that don't have existing or known antibodies uh, in a way that's much more uh, robust and chemically stable uh, than uh, current antibody technologies. Some of the applications of our work uh, are, again, to be able to detect these moieties in really complex systems. Uh, and when I say complex, what I mean is a system that is very optically dense. So um, there's a reason that we can't see through our tissues and our cells and our bones, uh, and that's because the wavelength ranges that we're used to working with are in the uh, visible range. Uh, where I'm working is a, is a wavelength range domain that is infrared, and so if we can get these probes to be reactive to these specific molecules, uh, we can essentially put these probes into a system, uh, into, into a brain, for example, and detect the presence of really important molecules that are important for brain cell-to-cell uh, -cell signaling uh, in, in a space that's been inaccessible using uh, conventional techniques. So deep brain imaging of dopamine signaling is one of the projects that we're most excited about. So one of the ways that our probes stand to be most transformative is in their ability to report on the presence or absence of a molecule deep within a living system. So instead of taking a brain out of a system, taking sections of that brain and looking for the presence or absence of those molecules, you could keep that brain and that animal intact, put our probes into the brain and get the same information out uh, just with the infrared signal.